where we review your favorite artists and have a little bit of fun doing it. We're going to start with a couple of impressionistic painters, and then there's going to be a couple of stylistic, illustrative sort of painters, and a couple of realist painters. I'm very excited. Two of them I've heard of before, and the rest I haven't. You may be noticing that my background is a little bit different than the usual blank blue wall. Uh, and that is because I've hung up all of my mini watercolor paintings here. Tiny art is one of my favorite things ever. Uh, so that's, that's what that is. So anyway, first up is Frank Benson. Frank Benson's paintings are so beautiful. They are just full of color and light, and it just takes you to a place where you're wearing a white dress, having a picnic, and some tea, and it's so beautiful. He's an impressionist painter, and so that means that he's painting with visible brush strokes, thick paint, uh, highly saturated colors, all building up next to each other, perfect for light coming through poofy white dresses or through a little umbrella or on these beautiful summer days that he depicts. He's from Salem, Massachusetts, which is pretty close to me, and he was around between 1862 and 1951. Though he's most well known for his outside paintings of women in white dresses, he also did paintings of animals and landscapes. Benson was obviously influenced a lot by Claude Monet, who is like the king of Impressionism, but also he was influenced by Johannes Vermeer, and Diego Velazquez, which are more realistic painters and classical painters. Next up is Edgar Degas, and he's very well known for his ballerina paintings. If you've seen an impressionistic ballerina painting, chances are it was Edgar Degas. Edgar Degas was a French painter, and he lived from 1837 to 1917. So Edgar was very interested in movement and about the narrative of the humans that were depicted in his paintings. So a lot of times the ballerinas are like off stage and they're changing or they're like talking with each other and having an off stage moment. One thing that I really like to see in any painter's work is the reproduction of like a certain pose or like a certain uh, element of the painting in different paintings because I can see that that artist is exploring that topic. So in these two paintings you can see how the ballerina pose is pretty much the same in, of that main ballerina in the paintings. It's just cool to see an artist explore all the different ways that they can use the same pose and like see if they can find the best way to depict that thing that interests them so much. One of the things that Degas is known for, besides being an amazing painter, is having this terrible attitude. <laughs> the guy was like a total jerk to all of his models and uh, the ballerinas that he was painting, and he often made them cry, and he's just called an old curmudgeon in the Wikipedia article. I don't know how many sculptures Degas made in his lifetime, but he did make a sculpture of a little ballerina. Apparently the story is that this little ballerina was such a nice person to him. He was such a jerk to everybody, and so usually people weren't very nice to him. But, uh, but she was, and so he made a sculpture of her. Next on our list is Sushila Burgess, who is a very whimsical painter. She does tarot cards and children's book illustrations, and she has one series that I saw that I just love so much. It's just so ridiculous, and it's called Bird People, and it's birds with human faces. <laughs> Check this stuff out. Is this great? This is so great. Oh my god. But really cool style, and you know, like, Having fun with art is like the whole thing, you know, like have fun with it. And it is, it's so fun to look at and I really enjoy checking it out. So those were the ones that people private messaged me about. Let's just take a look at the Facebook page and see if anybody posted anything there. Oh, there's just one entry. It's the one I gave as an example last time. Great. Thanks for contributing. You guys, post your favorite artists here. I want to review them, not just my own favorites. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll review the thing that I posted here. So Suzanne Valadon is actually an old school painter uh, during the time of Renoir. And speaking of Renoir, she was in a painting that Renoir did that's very famous. It's called The Dance at Bougival. And she's the female dancer right here. Suzanne Valadon was a French painter and she lived from 1865 to 1938. 
But she has really beautiful narrative paintings and a really interesting style. She's doing a lot with line work, which I think is very interesting and kind of lends itself to a little bit of a graphic, illustrative kind of approach to painting, which I enjoy. And also great to see a female painter from that time period. One thing about Suzanne that I noticed that I thought was kind of cool is I found this self-portrait from 1883 and then I found this self-portrait from 1893 and look at the difference! It just goes to show that 10 years can do an awful lot for your art skills. Alright, and since nobody else posted anything on the Facebook group, I'm just going to go through two more artists that I, that I enjoy. Uh, one of them is Andrea Couch. I found Andrea Couch's work, I'd say late last year. Andrea Couch's work is very narrative and she paints in a highly rendered way. So she's like really getting the detail in there. And um, her work is so well composed on the page or the canvas. And uh, I really enjoy the storytelling that she's doing with these paintings. And they remind me of nursery rhymes or just kind of like odd, spooky sometimes uh, situations. I really enjoy the way she sets the mood with her paintings. So when I first started researching Andrea Couch last year, I noticed that she was a member of the RJD Gallery in New York, and I thought that was really cool, and so I checked out to see what other artists are there, and it's a magical realism gallery. And I thought that was so amazing. Like, magical realism is a genre of paint. This is my favorite painting by Andrea Couch. Last but not least is Peterson Silva, who is an Italian painter, and he paints uh, parrots and birds. And I love the character of these birds. He depicts them in a highly realistic way, and they're so close to you because he paints really big that they feel like they're having a human interaction. And it's, it's really cool to invent some narrative that's going on there. And what's the story between usually like two birds or, you know, I found Peterson on Instagram last week and I just thought his work was so beautiful and I love that narrative of the birds. Look at how beautiful! Look how beautiful these birds are! Thank you guys so much for watching and please, please, please go to the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash art review submissions and I'd love to review your favorite art next week. Please post something there so that I don't have to keep reviewing my favorite artists every week. I really want to talk with you. I really want to understand the kind of art that you like, and I want to bring some awareness to some artists who maybe aren't very well known. I really want to create an art community with you guys. And one of the things that I really aspire to do with this channel is create a place where people can post art that they really like without having to actually talk about it too much and kind of interact more with art and discover new art without fear of, you know, somebody saying like, oh, you don't know anything about art. I just think that that's bullshit. And, you know, nobody, nobody needs that kind of discouragement. And this world needs art in it. And personally, art is my whole life. And I know that I'm not the only one. So please post your favorite art and let's create a community. Let's bring together all the artists of the world. And let's talk. Let's make friends. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.